Hey everyone, it's Haley, and I am back with another episode of Who's in My Bathroom? Today we have yet another situation, a Philly cheesesteak situation, so I wonder who that could be. Please help me welcome a very, very special guest, Lil Dicky. So, uh... Welcome! Hey. Thank you for coming and being in my bathroom. Thank you for having me. Wow, what a bathroom. It ain't bad for I a bathroom. I literally matched the... And, wow. We actually... Totally unplanned. Hello. Totally unplanned, and I feel like this is incredible. Just kidding. We texted about it earlier. We didn't. I don't, don't let them think that, because we didn't, and this is natural, and this is synergistic, and they deserve to know the truth, and we're going to be honest on this show today. You're right. Since you're from Philly, we <laughs> wanted to do... <laughs> Sorry, we not to a do. Northeast grit in the house. We have the Philly cheesesteaks, because you're from Philly. Yeah. I don't know a ton about Philly cheesesteaks. Okay, well, I know everything. Okay, so take yeah. me take me through it. In this situation, with the hand I was dealt, which is this plate uh, of meat <laughs> in on, a bathroom. On bread, you know, I feel like this might have been sitting out for a little while, and I just want to make sure that... No, 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 fresh, all fresh. Okay. Extremely fresh. Okay. Talk to me about growing up in Philly. Great friends, great parents. So I was like, I didn't have anything to really be unhappy about, but I do feel like there's like a general spirit uh, uh, about Philadelphians that I just become increasingly more and more proud of the, like since I've moved away. Yeah. In LA, if I crossed the street, it wasn't even my right of way. The car would slow down and go like this. But in Philly, they would like, they would like try to clip you and get the insurance money. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And right. I just respect that. It's just like that. a whole different thing. You know, sometimes I feel like when people are too nice, I'm kind of offended by it. And in Philadelphia, you don't have to worry about that. Everyone's right. coming at you. How am I supposed to dress this beautiful Philly cheesesteak? Because, uh, you know, I'm not here often, I'm gonna go harder than normal. I'm gonna put whiz on the top of the of the bun. What is whiz, technically? Man, I don't know. Like it's just... like liquid cheese. It's, it's the type of, it's like Voldemort. You shouldn't even talk about, like, what it actually is. <laughs> go like this, and I'm gonna lather the yep. top, and I'm gonna just soak the bread and the gonna cheese. I'm just do it yeah. with my fork. We're working on the crest. That is the upper half. Pretty soon, I will begin working on the main ridge, which is the body of the cheesesteak. Wow, you really, that's a lot of cheese, so. I'm uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by how funny you are. Well, focus up, because you know my reputation's on the line here, too. Okay. I'll grab the American cheese, and normally, like, you just throw it on. But me, no, I'm gonna think about size and geometry and, like, what the shape <laughs> of the, the ridge is. So the ridge is this long. Just an eighth of a piece, and uh, we're not gonna waste it. You're gonna eat the other um, seven eighths of it. <laughs> Okay. Once we cut, because we don't waste food in this bathroom. Nope. There is a toaster. This is not a prop. This is for real. But this is, this okay. is a for real toaster. I'm, I'm going to fire it up. Okay, preheat so it. Toast or bake? I would do bake. Okay. Okay. Yep. And we're going to um, we're gonna sit and chit chat while it cooks. And Okay. I kind of just like turned all the knobs on. Like I just. Okay. I, that's new information to me. I'm actually going to look at the things <laughs> here and just make sure we're doing things correctly. Can you take me through your career from start to now? Because I feel like there's a lot of levels to you. Yeah. When I was 13 years old, I believed in my heart that I was going to be like a comedian. And I just liked the feeling of making people laugh. My parents wanted me to go to college. So like I went to college and I graduated like a business major. And I thought, you know, what can I do to get noticed for being funny? Because I really didn't know anybody in like it was this. <gasps> oh, we're OK. But we should. <laughs> I see the cheese is starting to melt. So what is that noise? Oh my gosh, if this explodes in the bathroom, I will... Is it like pretty done? In like two minutes, it'll be done. I don't know what the sound is. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. Anyways. I invested my bar mitzvah money <laughs> in like a few rap videos and then I put them out and they went viral right away. Wow. Became a rapper because the music was so respected. I just mm -hmm. got better and better at rapping. And like I'm on a Justin Bieber album is like a mind blowing thing to me because like yeah. I didn't even know I was like a musician. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I worked my way into this rapper that I am with a Philadelphia mindset of grit and toughness. <laughs> After a few years, decided I really wanted to go after the comedy thing, and I started making my TV show, and I put it out last year, season one, and you're in season two that's about to come out, and the thing dung at the time, and I'm fucking hungry. Okay. Wow. I think it's perfectly cooked. I think That's it, not bad for a bathroom cheese. You did really good with the settings on it. It dung at the perfect time. I didn't have to, like, spend any energy. I know it's really hot. Just, ah! It's just... Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to cut our cheese sticks in half. 
not a perforated knife, so it's gonna take a little bit. Okay, let's eat these cheese sticks. I wanna have one bite and then talk about it. So the ketchup doesn't come in yet? No, you're right. Let's just put a little on the side. I do think our first bite should not should be ketchup free. Okay. Because so we'll then just... we're just eating ketchup. Okay, so ketchup free. Yeah. I feel great about this. It's honestly so good. It's really good. Wow. I'm not even kidding. I feel very good about this. <laughs> I did nothing. I put cheese on a bun and threw it in this. No, but you know what? You put your energy into this and I feel like it made it more special. Thank you. Mm, it's so good. The ketchup brings a different vibe. I read that you said the most important thing you've ever done was your song, Earth. I do feel like uh, there's nothing more important than like the ability to like be able to live and like inhabit the planet. What's happening, people think that maybe it's up for debate about like, is this real or not? But it's not, like it's totally like no, a factual yeah. scientific thing. And I feel like a lot of people are not really taking it seriously because they're thinking, well, it's not gonna affect me. It's gonna affect something in my life, not in my lifetime. And I don't have to worry about it. But the reality is it's actually affecting things right now. You see it, all these hurricanes and storms, it's like happening now. If my purpose in life is to do anything, it's probably to like do the most good I could possibly do. Do. Right now is actually the point in time where humanity actually has the ability to maybe save the world or like totally let it be fucked. It's like happened yeah. to be like all of time has led us to this moment where we're the humans that are actually there for the that, moment. That like have to make a difference. Yeah, in and order. it's like it's just embarrassing to not step up and like be like, all right, this is fact. We got to do something about this. Yeah, I feel hopeful because I see this like new generation of young people coming up and I do feel like they really care. They get it for sure. They yeah. get it. There's hope, but we can't rest on the hope. You have to right, put it into hope. action. Yeah. I agree. Now or never, come on, step up. I would like to move into another segment here where okay. we talk about skincare. Right. I'm really into skincare and I heard that you're super into your it's been a uh, it's been a journey like for my life. So and I'm ready to talk about it. Well the let's whole get journey. into it. Let's and talk about it. I'd like this wrapped up too because it's great. Okay great. So we're back oh, in <laughs> a new setting of yeah. serenity. We are here to chat skincare. Yeah. And skincare journey. Where do we begin? I mean. Let's start with you. Growing up, I was so greasy. I mean, you know those things that you buy that are like kind of like they look like tissue paper. Yeah, the blotting. Exactly. Papers, yeah. When I put those on my face, uh, like the thing like will like evaporate. <laughs> Like it'll just like totally like shrivel up. Like yeah. it, so you have really oily skin. So oily. Um, like at around 4 p.m. every day, it's like I know it's four because of the level of sheen. Long story short, this grease started to really impact my body. Like I actually would have like cystic back acne. And honestly, nothing ever worked. Yeah. So this year, I decided to go on Accutane. Man, let me first, like I am, no grease. It has cured my grease. Even if it doesn't make my back acne go away, yeah. I'm thankful alone to be greaseless. I'll tell you one thing that I, I never have ever moisturized, but now that I have the Accutane, I feel ready to take on the journey of facial moisturizing, and That's I don't know good. where to begin, so I, I don't know if you have any thoughts. Well, tell me what your routine is now. Okay. So I like in the morning, you wake up pop and Pop open do? a f***ing Clarivis. <laughs> That's the scientific name for it. And look Pop at how, one out. Look at how you have to take these things out. They're so, it's, it's so intense. It's a drug. It's a very serious drug. That's for sure. Go in the shower and Skin Medica Sensitive Skin Cleaner. No, Skin Medica's great. Okay, good. Yeah. And I'm a fan. I, I used to use 10% benzoyl peroxide, like you just right. like. So I've done a lot of like learning and research about different skin types. And I think when people have really bad acne or they have acne prone skin or oily skin, they have it in their head, dry it out, dry it out, dry it out. When the reality is, is that you still have to actually like protect your skin. And yeah. Okay, so you do that. I do that. Get uh, out of the shower. Get out of the shower. Then I got this little cream. Dr. Amarian, uh, who, you know, she makes her own cream and it's called Erith. Erythromycin, and I'm seeing that this expired about a year ago. Now that it's in my hand, um, so I'll have to uh, talk to Dr. Marion and re-up that. But, but what is that for? Sometimes I have a few patches of my face that get a little redder than other areas. Now that I've gotten an Accutane, I haven't been doing much. I've just kind of like taken the medicine and like washed my face and just like existed. 
I will say a lot of the time, less is way more. Yeah. Like scaling everything back can totally help. I haven't been doing myself any favors, I think, because I've never moisturized and I know that's a huge step that I'm missing. But you should find like definitely oil-free moisture. Like a gel moisturizer would definitely be better for somebody with your skin type. Once this thing wraps, I'm gonna give you my address and I'm, I'm ready for I, any I'm product. Gonna, I'm gonna send you a little, a box. I'd love a that. A skincare box. I really would love that. Done. We talked about skin. I want us to play a game, sports trivia. You came to the right guy. I know you're a really big fan of basketball. Yeah. So your trivia is going to be basketball related. Okay. I am not a big follower of sports. The only thing I've gotten into is hockey. Me, I'm an analytics guy. Yeah, like you're I go like into the data. in there. Yeah. I, I wish I was like that though. I really wish no, you that don't. I like- Why would you want to be? That's a waste of your brain capacity. You don't need to know all that <laughs> The loser has to post a photo of the other person on their Instagram story saying they are the king or queen of skincare with oh. no context. Yeah. Not so bad. Yeah, because either way, I feel like this is a positive thing for my brand. So yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, yes. great. <laughs> oh. The Maurice Podoloff Trophy is awarded to who? A, Defensive Player of the Year, B, Comeback Player of the Year, C, MVP, D, Executive of the Year. I will go with B. That is incorrect. <laughs> it's actually C, MVP. What? What was the first NHL team to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cup titles? Was it A, the New Jersey Devils, B, the Ottawa Senators, C, the Toronto Maple Leafs, or D, the New York Rangers? I believe it was the Senators. Yeah. <gasps> Control who you're rooting for, okay? I don't need other people <laughs> rooting against. I'm in a hostile environment. And... Who has the record for the most three pointers in a game? A. Reggie Miller. B. Steph Curry. C. Clay Thompson. Or D. Kobe Bryant. C. Uh, Clay Thompson. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> what is a hockey puck sometimes called? A. Cake. B. Biscuit. C. Bagel. D. Disc. I'm gonna go with D. Disc. Yeah. No. Oh. B. Biscuit. I did not know that. Well, now you do. Well, now I do. One of the advantages of this segment. Which of these NBA players do not make an appearance in the first Space Jam? A, Larry Johnson. B, Larry Bird. C, Steve Kerr. D, Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice. That is correct. Yeah! <laughs> what NHL team was named after a Disney movie? I mean, talk about a cakewalk question. A, the Philadelphia Flyers, B, the Boston Bruins, C, the New York Islanders, or D, the Anaheim Ducks? D, the Anaheim Ducks. Yeah, yeah, well. What team has won the most NBA titles? A, the Los Angeles Lakers, B, Chicago Bulls, C, Boston Celtics, or D, New York Knicks? C, Boston Celtics. That is correct. To summarize, this is a do or die round for you. If you get it, we tie. If you don't, you lose. Which team has the most Stanley Cups? A, Toronto Blue Jays, which is honestly the fact that that's an option, a baseball team. <laughs> yeah, is, um, I know that is not a team. A, Toronto Blue Jays, which I, I guess was just an error by someone in your organization. <laughs> B, St. Louis Blues. C, Montreal Canadiens. Or D, Anaheim Mighty Ducks. St. Louis Blues. No. No? And the winner. Oh, who was it? Montreal Canadiens. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I'm gonna Damn. love getting that personalized shout out to all your, what is it, 35 million people follow you on Instagram, something like that? Something like that, I yep. looked it up before I came, so. <laughs> bet is a bet, a win is a win. I like this one, the first one. The first one? Okay, yep. great. Beautiful. At Lil Dicky Graham, thank you, is the king of skincare and a, and a wonderful man. <laughs> All right, here we go. At Lil Dicky Graham is the king of skincare and a wonderful man. All true things. Thank you. This is gonna do a lot for me. Dave, thank you so much for being on the show today. Hey, Oz, thank you for having me. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Who's in My Bathroom with Lil Dicky. I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you next time. How do you get him to stay on your eye? I'm balancing. Huh. Do you put ketchup on everything? Every meat. Like a filet mignon steak? Yes. What? Yeah. You know like those Brazilian churrascarias that like yes. slice the meat? I come in there with a bottle of ketchup Shut in my pocket. Shut the f and, up, and, they, and they hate it. They're like, they hate yeah, that. I, say, I don't care. This is like, it's my right. Eating cheese is like a nail scratching the chalkboard for me. Wow. When it's dry, when it's like wet and melted, man, it's like sex. Right. Sometimes better. Probably not. Depending on the, the connection. <laughs> okay, I, I've never heard of. It's still ticking.
I'm not gonna be able to get past the ticking. Okay, you wanna unplug it? I do want it, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able uh, to get. I'm not gonna be able to get past the ticking. Okay. Is it still ticking? Yeah. What knob is still going? I don't even think we should, we just throw out the window. <laughs> it's demonic. Oh my God, you sound like my mom. Huh? 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 Make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Thank you.